I guess I should realize that common knights aren't exactly going to be a problem. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening for the Switch. If it looks a little differently, that's because it actually is different. That 30 FPS mod that was supposed to help with the game's speed, as it turns out, it hadn't actually been implemented properly because I didn't know how to put mods in properly. But everything's fine now. Well, some effects might not be working properly because in order to reduce crashes, I went with OpenGL, which also means it's probably choppier than it could be. But hey, at least it's not slowing down, and it's not like this game really needs to be all that fast anyway, right? At least not really. This isn't exactly a fighting game, you know? Look, lightning fast reflexes are probably not required here. Although I did find this. Don't know what this is, but... It's probably nothing. All I did was I picked up a stone and... It happened to have staircases under it. Oh, about to say. Okay, so we can still lift. Ah, crap. Whoops! Accidentally went up the stairs! Did not mean to do that, Link. What is. How dare you interpret my commands properly? Because I clearly didn't intend for you to do that. Which means it's your fault, Link. You should have disobeyed me. Okay, so that didn't help. Don't know what I was thinking with that. Okay, I guess it's because shaders have to load in properly for the first time, because it's not caching them like it was already in Vulcan. But unfortunately, Vulcan was crashing. Or at least it was apparently causing crashes, so... No choice. Thanks, Bow Wow. Even in a diminished open GL state, Bow Wow is the best. Hey. Jeez. It seems even the shield is not my end-all be-all. Well, it probably helps a little bit. Anywho. Let's see where I'm actually supposed to go. Shall we? I'm supposed to go to the prairie, but as for what location to get to the prairie, that's anyone's guess. It might just be from the swamp area, actually. Maybe I should just go there. You know, incrementally and stuff. Might just be to my benefit. Thanks, Bow Wow. <laughs> Best pet ever. Far better than the dogs in Nintendogs, no offense. They're nice, but can they devour your enemies? Didn't think so. Hey, Bow Wow. Gotta say, you want this one? I mean, I'm gonna give you a... Oh. You want... Y y dig? Dig where? Right here? Where? Where do I dig? Where do I dig, boy? Okay. Ah, eh, jeez. Oh, okay, right. Well, um... Thanks, Bow Wow. You found a secret seashell. But what do you do with it? Maybe you break it against their heads. That would be pretty funny. Oh, that would be ironic as hell if he just ate them. Funny, too. Yeah, as expected, the reflections are not so kind to the frame rate. They weren't before, but now that it's in 30 FPS mode, perhaps even less so than before. Say, Bow Wow, you want, you want to get this? Oh, jeez. It's getting unstable. It's legitimately freezing. Oh, crap. In hero mode, uh, every little, every little freaking hit is dangerous. Because you can't get recovery hearts. I mean, I got a bottle so I could get a stray fairy if I could actually find one. But unfortunately, I do not know where to find one. How unfortunate, isn't it? Jeez, and I gotta be careful for that, too. Hey, you want, you want to get this? Thanks, buddy. It, it was, he was kind of electrified. It would have been hard for me to do it, you know? Ah, oh, look at that. I don't know what this water signifies, but maybe it signifies something good. That house appears to have hearts above it. I wonder what that signifies. Uh oh. Hello. Hi there, big guy. I'm Crazy Tracy. I've got a little secret for sale that'll pump you up. How about it? 42 rupees for my little secret. Sure, why not? I've got rupees to spare. 
All right, come here and I'll rub it on you. There, I've applied my own secret medicine. It will take effect when you lose all heart. Drop by again, big guy. Here's some bonus treatment. Behold, your hearts are full. So it's like a fairy. Awesome. I don't want to know the implications of that, but then again, Zelda too had some interesting implications like that as well, so... <clears throat> Who knows? Too bad you can't actually fill out those holes. That would be interesting, wouldn't it? Oh, that's a wasteland area. That's the prairie? Fascinating. All this is very fascinating. This must be the dungeon, then. Sorry, little guy. I guess you'll have to wait outside. Fortunately. Or maybe this is somewhere else that I've already been in. I don't remember. Oh, it's the witch's area. My bad. Ah, it has a, the sleepy toadstool it does. We'll mix it up in a jiffy, we will. Thanks. I mean, aside from those two and Ocarina of Time, it seems as though witches are rather friendly in the Zelda series. Why not try a bit in my hut? You've got some magic powder. I already know what it does. I'm gonna just smash all your pots. As thanks. Aren't I just so gracious? <laughs> I'll leave your other half intact. Actually, she did say try some of it. And now that I know that you can actually use it to light fires. There you go. Good job! Use it on your enemies and see what happens. If you run out, go to the forest, pick some toadstools, and I will make you more. Come back without a toadstool, and you don't have to pay a price for my leftovers. Yeah, that's a fair... that's a fair shot. Luckily, you can get them back pretty easily. One always spawns in the forest. And fairly easily, too. Alright, let's go over here. I have no idea where the prairie is proper. Oh, well. I'll just go wherever I can. Oh, it's down there. Maybe I should read. Oops. Kinda weird the black effects, though. Oh, well. Probably isn't too important. Oh. Well, isn't that nice? That one has wings on it. Oh. That's lovely. Well, I already had him beat, but I appreciate it, Bow Wow. You're the best. You're the best little buddy. Sorry, I already got that one. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Bad time to forget already that cracks are bad. Hmm. That probably wasn't the best idea. Oh, well, I can just do this. <laughs> there we go. As long as I don't mind risking a little. I might have to come back for the heart piece, though. What's in here? Oh, a purple rupee. Sweet. I got back all the amount that I spent on that... that woman's special treatment and then some. Good. I don't have to risk a jump. I can just go straight out. Isn't that delightful? Now let's go back inside. Sorry, Bow Wow. I'm just gonna slam right into you. You don't mind, right? Let's see. Wait a minute. That didn't have anything to do with lack of opportunity. I had just as much opportunity then. But how do I get it into position? That's a... That's gonna be a puzzler. I have to push something out of the way in order to get to it. Strange. Very strange. Oh, wait. Duh. I figured it out. Don't worry about it. Hey! You jerk! Okay. Uh, Bow Wow, you're gonna have to get out of the way. But of course, it's so obvious! Because again, these skulls are not obstacles at all! I had it licked from the start. But unfortunately, my stupid self just didn't see it. Oh well. Better late than never, I always say, or at least I do now. At least the game runs a little faster. It doesn't feel quite as slow as it did before. Maybe I'll actually make some more progress. <laughs> oh boy, howdy, if only. 
All this grass is probably slowing things down, though. I noticed that in areas where grass is dense, such as, you know, in town, it's especially bad. Hmm. Although there sh should be a secret area around here somewhere. From what I've heard. Okay, Bow Wow, you go ahead and take care of it. This guy's an annoyance. You annoy me. Oh. You need a bomb, I think. How unfortunate. I don't have any bombs. Bees. Ugh, I don't want to mess with them. In a predicament where you don't have the ability to heal yourself nearly as easily, it's especially dangerous to go picking fights with bees. Heck, it's bad. And it's bad news in Zelda games where you can heal back pretty easily. Let alone this. Let's just leave them alone. Hello, you little freak. You, on the other hand, I'll mess with you all ding-dong day. Because you are instantly aggressive. And I don't like that. What's this? Oh. Some strange energy is pouring out from here. You should find out what it does. Sure. Maybe it's, uh... Fast travel. That's what I was going for. Oh. Oh. I guess because I didn't find any of the other ones yet. There's nowhere to fast travel to. Duh. Let's just keep going this way. There's bound to be answers here. Just keep going where you haven't before and eventually you'll find your way. The writing is on the other side. Oh, that's, that's clever actually. I gotta give you props for that one. Well done. They actually thought that out. And I don't think that's from the, just the remake, either. That means that in the original Game Boy Color, they actually thought to make it programmable that you can activate it from the other side, just so it would say the writing is on the other side. <laughs> oh, I love it. I don't know why, but that impresses me. It's the little things. It doesn't necessarily have to be a technical marvel. It just has to be attention to, to detail, you know? Oh, okay. Now, I was gonna have you kill these things, but you know, that works, too. Oh, look at that. You couldn't quite get out of the way. Looks like their flight isn't absolute. Hey, <laughs> especially we'll get them away from Bow Wow. How about we just give the phone guy a call? I mean, he is right here. Why not, right? Ring, ring! Oh, Rira, at your service. Oh, you should take Bow Wow home now. Madame Meow Meow would appreciate it. Bye. Click. Oh. Okay. Sorry, little guy. I guess this is where we part ways. Memories. Like, just imagine a montage of him eating everything. Like the corners of my mind. Real shame. Aw, oh, don't look at me like that, Bow Wow. Well, me. I'll visit you. Good thing there was a shortcut leading right into town. How convenient. All right, let's take him home. I guess now people actually, his owners actually care if he comes back. Luckily, I've got phone guy. <laughs> ho, 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 I really appreciate what you did for my poor precious Bow Wow. You really are a nice boy. How can I ever repay you? I know. Mm -hmm. Smooch. Oh, uh, that's lovely. You got a reward from Madam Meow Meow. L lucky Someone's blushing. Okay, I guess I had to give him back eventually anyway, but still, it's, it's gonna suck. Not having him munching down my enemies and whatnot. Bye, buddy. Nice seeing ya. You're a fun little Bow Wow, ain't ya? Don't worry. I'll... I'll be back. Eventually. Maybe. Probably. Who Who knows? Okay, now what do I do? I don't know what good that did me, unfortunately. Maybe now I can use whatever that was? Maybe it rejected me because I had Bow Wow on me, and then that was the game's way of preventing you from moving on until after you got rid of Bow Wow? I mean, that would make sense. 
Oh, never mind. So much for that. Oh well. I mean, he is right here. Guys, I'm gonna spend the entirety of this playthrough just going back to the phone guy over and over again. Hi! Have you met everyone on the island? There's a man named Richard who lives in Podhole Field, southeast of the village. Why not pay him a visit? Thanks. In my defense, I wouldn't have instantly picked up on that. I mean, who would? That just seems random. Unless it's related to the prairie in some way, I mean... It isn't something I would assume. I swear, Link has a gravitational attraction to these holes because you don't have to necessarily be completely in it. It just seems like it pulls them in. Maybe there's a gravitational field back down there. Or maybe he's just losing his footing. Maybe it's trying to represent that, but I swear, it looks like he's being pulled in like a warp hole or something. It's kind of weird. Oh, well. Southeast, huh? That's nice. Let's go ahead and do that. Hey, Bow Wow. Here. How would you like a tasty chicken? Yeah, eh, forget it. Probably not very appetizing anyway. It's funny seeing it be choppy rather than slow. Although it's... To be honest, I'm not sure if I like it better with or without the depth of field. I mean, it is a lot crisper. Of course, it loses that little toy figurine charm. Now, obviously, it still has the art style, but without the depth of field, it doesn't look nearly as much like a miniature little thing. But, it does look crisper, so... While it loses a little bit of that, maybe just being visible is better. Potentially. Anyway. Something about... Someone in... Martha's Bay? That's interesting. Okay, so I gotta go north. Am I gonna find crap here? Probably not. I'm guessing that's my goal. I can get past whatever those things are. Those oddly shaped stone structures, they look like jars or something. Yeah, I don't get it. Let's see what's in here. Probably the same thing as before. But hey, never hurts to check. I mean, probably. What's in here? Got anything? The door to the cabinet is hanging off its hinges. Nobody's used this thing in a while. Isn't that wonderful? Oh, I see. <laughs> there doesn't appear to be anything that I can really use right now. There's another one of these things, but... Yeah, it doesn't seem like there's any use for it right now. I probably need some kind of item. And then I'll go back to the tunnel, too. In the meantime, hang tight real quick. Found it. I just had to go back to where I was before, in the prairie. You know, with that, whatever that was. I just had to go south. Go figure. Maybe I should actually use my brain instead of relying on that phone guy. This guy's into frogs, apparently. Hey, buddy. I'm gonna give him a heroic voice. Salutations! You would know by the look of me, but I used to live in the castle. My servants went berserk and I was forced to flee to my villa. So, you're looking for something, are you? I may have just what you're after. But first, I want you to retrieve the golden leaf I left behind in the castle when I fled. Okay. Hmm. Smashing! To tell you the truth, there are fine five leaves and I want them all. Okay, you'll need to do some digging, so buy a shovel. Are you off then? Good luck. Where's your castle at? Might you give me instructions? I mean, I have a shovel, I just need to know where to go. Is this this castle? Oh. Ten minutes. Okay, then. Sure. Let's hope it's somewhere nearby. Maybe I should probably equip this bad boy. Yeah. I think I'm actually getting a little bit better at this. Although in some ways, I'm getting much worse. It really depends on things. It's a mixed bag, arguably. Oh, okay. I'm on the other side of this, but it's 
Probably not gonna do me much good. I could talk to the phone guy. I mean, one of his huts is right here. They liberally put those everywhere. To oh, jeez. Okay, can't shield yourself against bombs. Gotta know. Castle, five minutes that way. Although that wasn't really five minutes. It was... I can't really say five seconds. It was longer than that, but, you know. Fifty paces. Fair enough. Excellent. Now, how do we get in there? Too bad he didn't give me a key. That might have solved everything. But that's the problem. It would have solved everything. If you can solve everything... What would be the point? Hello, you seem to be a good monkey. Bananas, bananas, ooh, ooh give to Kiki? Yes. <laughs> bananas, bananas, ooh, ooh, Kiki. Monkeys, come, repay him, Kiki. Is the trade sequence complete? So all along, it was a required sequence. Good thing I did it, huh? Otherwise, I'd probably be up the river. Thanks, monkeys. Monkey business done. Bye-bye. Ooh, Kiki. Yes. Kiki, indeed. I got a stick. You found a stick the monkey left behind. You take it. Yes, caveman Link takes stick. To whack other caveman with. Then again, what is a sword if not a very sophisticated stick? Let's be real. Oh, jeez. Those are night enemies. They might actually be a little bit tough. Huh. Anyone else getting a Link to the Past vibe? Where you go to the right side of a castle and then you slash it bushes until you end up in a cave? Just me? Uh-oh. Now I'm a little concerned. There we go. You Goomba wannabes. Ooh, that was a close one. But hi, Link, the Knight of Hyrule, will get it done. Even if I am in quite a pickle, and I've got to use my head and think. Oh jeez, he's just following the stab at the air rule. And if you happen to get hit, it's your own fault. What a jerk. Someone ought to teach him a lesson. Let's just go ahead and run. What in the world are you? Bye bye. Unfortunately for you, you're too slow. You're too slow for me. You may be formidable, but your speed could use some improvement. Right, you gotta be a step away from it for it to be effective. Where are those leaves? I better be prepared to dig up every square inch. I'm gonna find it. I get the feeling I'm just gonna find rubies at this point. Maybe there's a special area that you have to be in. in the world? Now that should be the perfect spot. Come on, Link. Oh, right. I'm guessing... Ah, son of an ass, monkey. He may be slow, but he packs power when I'm distracted. Maybe it was in the castle that I need to be looking for. Uh-oh. Oh, jeez. Oh, Maybe if I'm lucky, it'll turn into a fairy. That would be nice. Wouldn't it? And if not, well, at least I can just revive. Actually, literally. Okay. Well, it didn't turn into a fairy, but at least it disappeared. As a threat. Oh. These are the spear variety. So no problem. Much easier to deal with. Damn it. While I was dealing with a little red piece of crap, that one got me. Luckily, the magic powder will save me. <sighs> At that girl so thoughtfully rubbed on me. It may have seemed kind of weird, but at least it was to my salvation. Oh, I see. Just gotta kill everything. So that's what you had to do. You got a piece of power. You can feel the energy flowing through you. It seems that there's a lot of glitches. Oh, crap. I did not mean to do that. Whatever. Ah, dadgummit. Why did the leaf just fall through the ground? Or did it go into my inventory? I have no thinking clue. It doesn't look like it did. 
But I have no idea. Whatever. Let's just run past these idiots. Oh, it's one with a shield. I mean, a spear. Sorry, not a shield. That one over there is the one with a shield. I don't want to mess with him. The ones with just a spear, though, they're vulnerable to attack. Or should I say, counterattack? What the? It seems this castle has multiple entrances and exits. That might be to my significant advantage. But well, then again, I have no idea. Darn. The power has left me. Which means that ball and chain might just be a problem. What the? Oh well, I'll just smash pots and other pots. It does save some time. And if you're gonna prevent Link from actually um, slicing them and then letting them uh, destroy each other, that's probably the next best thing, right? Makes it just a little bit faster. I'm guessing I gotta do something to make that door open. Probably that switch from earlier, or button, or whatever it was. I was a little too busy running away to actually commit it to memory. Like a coward. But can you blame me? It was like three against one. Not to mention they had shields. <laughs> oh, you son of a- I didn't know we could go up the stairs. That was an unknown unknown right there. Ah, deck nabbit. If you're off your timing, the second you attack, that gives them an option to attack you. Because then you lower your shield. So that's what it does. Huh? It sounds like the castle gate opened. You can easily leave the castle now. That wasn't what I was looking to do, though. I guess I'll have to find something else. Actually, what happens if you just shield yourself against him? That dang nabbit. Now there's... Now I gotta deal with two of them. Suck you. Crap. This is bad. S screw you, man. If I just shield this? Okay. That... They're much easier to deal with than they appear. Oh, I see. You gotta use your shield against his sword. And then that stumbles him. They're easy to stumble, so that's their Achilles heel. As long as I can understand that, they're not too big of a deal. Granted, they can still kill you if you're not careful. You know, like the frickin' doing right now. Oh, you can go to, you can go straight to hell. I was trying to get that golden leaf that suddenly appeared out of nowhere because the game is a glitch. Is a glitch. No, the game itself isn't a glitch, it's the freaking. Well, my methods of playing the game are glitching. Let's just leave it at that. Ah, this is unfortunate, though. Yep, and as expected, I respond here, not in the actual entrance. That makes things even more complicated. Oh, well. All I gotta do is go back there. It's not like these enemies can follow you between rooms. <laughs> things would be hell if they could. Can you imagine? should have just did this from the start. Ah, crap. Never try to run away from them. Stand your ground. Oh, screw you. One of them is holding me down so the other one could kill me. How devious. Okay, good. You found a gold leaf. Four more to go. Hooray. Can't wait, man. Can't wait. Well, at least now I know how to kill the other one, so before my time... Well, with the rest of my time, I mean, I'm probably gonna go a bit over my time limit here, but... Doesn't matter. I know how to beat them. I just have to let them come to me. And I probably shouldn't try to bash them with my shield. I should just stand still with the shield. Seems to be much more effective. Because if their shield hits it... Then that just makes them shield. Here you go. Huh. They're so much easier than you would think at first glance. 
I got myself psyched out for nothing. I guess I should realize that common knights aren't exactly going to be a problem. Oh. Vomiteers, huh? Oh, you are gonna be a problem, aren't you? Oh. Yeah. Well then. Just gotta wait for him. Here you go. Just gotta be aggressive. He can't go back in for a little while. How fortunate. Ooh, nice. Three more to go. Unfortunately, I'm running. I'm over my time limit. Okay, I'll just kill whatever knights are left, and then I'll just call it. But I hope you enjoyed watching. At least I've been proving a little bit. Or rather, I know what their weakness is. Which is kind of an improvement, because in many games like this, the whole trick is figuring out enemy patterns. Many game genres are like that. But anyway, that's gonna have to be it for now. Thank you so much for tuning in with me. Make sure to spread this video around like random birds. And I will see you next time. Now go out there and capitalize on life. Oh yeah. Peace out, have a good one. And have a nice and pleasant day. Take that. And spread it around like golden feathers too. Or golden leaves, sorry. Bird, br bird on the mind. See you later. If you enjoyed the content and want to stay up to date, I upload 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every single day. You can also subscribe and hit the bell icon or just check out the end screens right here. Yeah.